Hi, my name is Rick Fry. I'm on staff here at Scope. I teach classes here, but I have a passion for men's ministry. My name is Linda Henson, and I am the Director of Student Ministry. My name is Kitty Ramirez, and um, some of the things I do at Scope, I teach, I speak, give seminars, teach classes, and minister to people. Hi, my name is Keith Gordon. I serve on the Board of Directors of Scope Ministry. My name is Candy Taylor, and I'm a wife, a mama, a daughter, a friend, and I work for Scope Ministries. I'm very passionate about it. My official title is Project Manager and Executive Administrative Assistant. My name is Cole Mitchell, and I'm a biblical counselor here at Scope. I have sort of a ministry division or wing to Scope, if you will, called Spiritual Victory Outreach that God led me to start here. My name is Vicki Kurtz, and I am a counselor here at Scope. My name is Rob Toller, and I work at Scope Ministries. I work in several areas, uh, primarily with student ministry. Uh, my name is Sandra Pickard, and I'm COO of Scope Ministries. I'm also a counselor and life coach. I'm Pat Everett, and I am a senior counselor and teacher. We basically have people come in uh, for help at Scope Ministries for some kind of uh, some kind of difficulty that they're having in their life, whether it's uh, mental, emotional, or spiritual. In its purest form, it's, it's participating with with God as He sets His cap sets the captives free. Uh, people come in and they're in bondage. They're in bondage to drugs. They're in bondage to alcohol. They're in bondage to legalism. They're in bondage to, you know, anything associated with the flesh. And we get to walk alongside as God transforms their lives. So when they come here, they say, I want to be fixed. And what we teach is that you're already fixed. You were fixed at the cross. And now let's discover who you are because of that fix. And then the next group that we tend to deal with are those that um, are, well, we'd probably call them defeated Christians, those who have been trying to live the Christian life and they've tried and failed. So many people have such deeply entrenched lies that they believe to be true about God and even about who they are. And I think that we have a distorted view of who He is, that He's this guy who's just waiting for us to mess up. And so many times that um, Father heart of God toward an individual has been uh, warped or perverted or damaged because of relationships they experience in their everyday life. And when I came to Scope, I began to learn that my identity is not my behavior. My identity is Christ. And there's a great deal of freedom in understanding the difference between identifying with your behavior and identifying with who you are in Christ. And that's what I want men to know, that regardless of your behavior, that's not who you are. I work primarily with men. Um, that have come and you can almost tell right away or you can tell when the light bulb goes on for somebody when they when it when it clicks when they get it i get to have a front row seat to watch god at work in people's lives and to see him change them from the inside out to see lives transformed literally we have we have churches on every street corner we can go to Mardell's and buy whatever it is we would like to buy to, to read and study and, and grow. That's not true overseas. And I have a heart for the, for the overseas people. See, we, we provide something nobody else does. And it's for that reason that I'm excited about what we do there. We have translated the Be Transformed material uh, into Spanish, Rwandan, Russian, Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, Kannada, Chinese, Hebrew, Arabic, Japanese, and Bengali. We have a presence in Central and South America, Rwanda, Russia, India, China, Israel, and Japan. To have this little bitty ministry here in Oklahoma City have that kind of reach and have that kind of impact in the lives of God's kids is stunning. And it's it's good. There is a great potential for be transformed to train. And I personally use it in my ministry. In every counseling sessions that I do, this is the 
most excellent training material we have in counseling in all over india one of the main reason why i would promote that this is needed in india because all these pastors that i mentioned the top leaders i mentioned none of them have formal theological training but this particular material is theologically so sound the new introduce anything in india it should be simple and this is very simple this has been a great blessing to so many pastors so my encouragement to scop minister uh, my hope and wish and prayer is that this coming year as you celebrate the food day this coming year the world will come to know about what you people have to offer the, the, the power of this material and the way that it is presented and the way it can be used in india is beyond imagination what i envision for scop ministries over the next several years is an expansion of Um, our training materials and our outreach and touch to individuals, especially in the age of high technology, that has opened the doors for us to extend the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think Scope will be doing great. Um, one of the things I've seen recently is making some very good, um, building some really good relationships with like-minded churches. I think that we could be a great asset for them as well as them for us. And so I'm excited about that. I really feel like God is bringing um, a lot of people and organizations together and just really developing partnerships. Someone's told me, asked me before if I could do anything and had no obstacles of time or money, what would I do? And it's like, I'd give it away. I would take Teens Transform to every church, every venue that they would give us and just give us eight weeks with your students. Scope is a place of love and acceptance. And I think it's probably as close to Jesus as we'll get here on on earth so that whenever the name is mentioned you see a nice smile come to their face a twinkle come to their eyes and they almost like a grandparent maybe that uh, scope has impressed them with uh, with their love and care for them. I have seen the, these truths that we teach here absolutely set people free to where they just feel it's like burdens disappear and they look lighter and their face glows and it's Christianity becomes something that they love, not something they have to do. Christ becomes real, not just someone they work for, but they understand that they are joint heirs with Jesus, that they are loved and accepted and approved of by the Father God just like Jesus is. And it absolutely sets them free. Hi, I'm Craig Rochelle, the pastor of LifeChurch.tv, and I wanted to wish you all a happy 40-year anniversary and celebrate all the amazing things that God has done through Scope Ministries all over the world. In fact, I had the honor of probably 20 years ago or so um, studying pneumonetics in the transformed life um, under Dr. Craddock, and it was a ministry that really helped solidify my understanding of who I am in Christ and uh, living in the knowledge of a relationship um, with the grace of God in my everyday life. And it impacted me in a significant way. And now this is a ministry that is literally changing lives all over the world. God is using you all to do more than any of us ever could even ask, think, or imagine. And I want to just praise God for you Thank Him for all that He has done and believe with all my heart that he, what, what He's going to do is going to be even greater. Um, many of you have generously supported the ministry, and I want to just encourage you to continue to do so. This is an incredible place to give sacrificially to make a difference all over the world. Thank you so much for being a part of a life-changing ministry. And again, happy 40th anniversary, and remember, the best is yet to come.